Alex, Tuesday night was a rough night for Assembly Republicans as an incumbent in what was thought to be a very safe Republican district. Looks like she might be on the wrong end of the vote totals, but there's a recount. What do you got? Well, Bill, take a look at these videos. 16 is not going to change hands. You've got this little pocket of Princeton. Uh, we've got a, an overwhelming number of Democrats, but it's not going to swing the entire district. Their Republican counterparts say this is going to stay in Republican hands for a long time to come. I cannot, cannot thank you enough. Um, and I guess that would be the hint that if you don't already know, this is the beginning of a concession speech because we are going to lose by this wow. much. That's yourself, myself, and Andrew Zwicker himself saying that legislative district 16 was gonna stay in Republican hands and we were all wrong. Uh, Assemblyman Jack Chitterelli, one of the two Republican incumbents, has been safely reelected, but the race between Zwicker, the Democratic challenger, and Assemblywoman Donna Simon is too close to call. Right now, provisional ballots are being recounted in the four counties that make up Legislative District 16. All the absentee ballots, the ones you mail in, and the votes from the boxes were counted on Election Day. Those are done. And the remainder are people who came to the polling place, weren't signed up for voting, and got these temporary votes that allowed them to participate. And the Board of Elections in each county is gonna to check to make sure those are valid. I came down here to the Mercer County Board of Elections. When we came in here this morning, uh, Zwicker was 39 votes ahead of Assemblywoman Simon. And that changed again this afternoon. Andrew Zwicker, 34. Maureen Vela, 33. Jack Citarelli, seven. Donna Simon, Seven. Legislative District 16 was seen as a safe bet for Republicans, but it looks like Assemblywoman Simon might be on her way out of the state house if these votes hold true. Tomorrow, Somerset County is going to count its provisional ballots. Monday, Middlesex County, this thing is going to go through the weekend. It will be at least Monday until we know what the final tally of all the votes that were cast on Tuesday are. And here's the other thing. It can go even longer because Assemblywoman Simon has until November 14th to officially challenge these results for a full recount, which means we go back to square one and do it all over again. It shows you this, every vote counts.